Smash upon it, then your twin game. Hello? Uh, we good? My uh, my stream back up? Alright, stream's up. This thing make it watch and run, shotgun, come with the option. Watch, strong in when he come in a slot, trying to bend it. All you want to do is talk, I don't need to talk. Banging my chest and my head on the block, feeling like walking flop. All right. Okay. Great. You should be good now. It's time to pick your avatar starting physique. That impact the ratings of the player classes. Each class has a recommended physique, and you can change this at any time in the class's screen and face of the franchise or the yard. Head to your Madden profile and select Edit Avatar to modify each physique. Oh, he's done. Oh, okay. Right now that you selected your starting physique, let's add the finishing touches to your avatar. Stop. Your avatar's height and weight are determined by the physique you have equipped and can be modified by customizing stop. your appearance. We can't wait to see you on the field and face of the mm. franchise and the yard. Okay, well, I'm glad my screen is back up. Okay, uh, totally. Uh, okay, don't ask. And on what? Okay, that's it. Uh, number. Okay, guys, if you did not know, my uh number that I use, like that I love using on football, is number seven. You know, it doesn't really matter, does it? Oh, it means like that. Stream detail? Okay. No. I think it. it. This is sick, if you hadn't noticed. Since I love green, eyes are being green. I didn't know I could do this. Yeah. All right. I have to kind of go like real life. I have a pointy ear. I mean, um, don't judge. Uh, um, no. Alright, uh, let's refix that actually. Eye color, you already know green. No. No, that looks terrifying, not gonna lie. Let's go to the same. Same. Hair. All 
Uh, alright. Definitely not copying my real hair. Blonde, yes sir. Um, I don't think I need a beard. I look way better without a beard. What, 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 what is he? Um, sir, sir, you don't have a, uh, okay, maybe. I'm six feet tall and I'm really skinny. I don't want to look at that, man. I mean, seriously, though, I don't want to look at that, man. I really don't. Not bad. Oh, my God. That looks like me. <laughs> I was like, that kind of looks like me. <laughs> I mean, I'll take it. I'll take it. It's the closest I'm probably going to be. <laughs> so, I mean, I'll take it, yo. Great, your team. Thank you! Oh, get started. New title update. This nice. That night. Thank you, I guess? Uh, ultimate team. Can't believe this is a real stream, though. Alright guys, subscribe, hit the like button, comment, post notification. <coughs> um, definitely not watching my old stream. <coughs> what? 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 Wait, hold on. What? Why do I drop? Why do I drop? Believe it or not, it's in the I want those. Why can I drop? Why can I drop? Believe it or not. Nope, not doing that again. No. Okay. 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 Hold on, guys. Uh. 
All right. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Seriously though. Uh. <clears throat> My mirror may not just ready up on accident. <laughs> I didn't know that was gonna make you ready up. <laughs> um. Okay. Hey everybody, thanks for joining us today. I'm the coach, and this is Madden Ultimate right. Team. Let's send it down to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis for the call. Coach, we start this challenge off in the first quarter with three minutes remaining. We're still without a score, tied at zero. You've got the ball on your own 25-yard line. First and ten. What an effort. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. No. And just well. Feed it. Savor the victory, if only for a moment, because you know there's always another challenge right around the corner. Uh, okay. Easy way down. Oh man, I, I, I really did not look at my uh, stream. <clears throat> Sorry about the buzzing noise, by the way. Hello, and welcome to this Madden Ultimate Team Showdown. I'm your host, The Coach. Taking you the rest of the way, here's Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Brandon. We start this challenge off in the first quarter with three minutes remaining. Guys, um, Still no nothing, points on the board. It's 0-0. Zero, zero. You've got the ball on your own 25-yard line. As we get set here, first and 10. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. Well, unfortunately, no win on this attempt, but you can select to replay the challenge and be sure you pay attention to the challenge goals.
right. I'm gonna play exhibition and it's going to be online head first to head. Head <clears throat> head to head. That sounds so wrong. Well it's so weird that's not wrong, but whatever. Uh quick match. Alright. Alright. I'm gonna be the Linda. Exhibition. A oh, custom game? Cough, cough. What the heck actually just happened? Did I hit someone on accident? Hold up. Football League Super Bowl 56 
Alright, this game, I'm not going to play. So much has happened since the Super Bowl was last in this part of the U.S. in the early 90s. The Rams and Chargers have both returned to L.A. and they've constructed this incredible new palace for football, SoFi Stadium in Inglewood. And it will be the scene tonight for Super Bowl 56. And what a matchup we have. Tonight, it's all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy as it'll be the AFC champion Cincinnati Bengals taking on the NFC champions, the Los Angeles Rams. Brandon Gordon joined by my good friend Charles Davis. And Charles, it was maybe the most unlikely Super Bowl run we've seen in a long time. What a story. The Bengals had not won a playoff game since January of 1991. 4-11-1 last year, 2-14 the season before that. Bottom line, though, here they are, the AFC champs. And Brandon, this is one of the more remarkable turnarounds in NFL history in recent years. In fact, most of the guys on this team weren't even born the last time they won a playoff game. Although, not that long ago, they had a stretch where they were in the playoffs seemingly every year but couldn't win a playoff game. Now they've gotten that done, they're back in the Super Bowl. Oh my God, do I have to be the Rams? Entering settings screen, you have 19 options. Menu narration option is set to office selected. Remember, two Super Bowl appearances in their history. Number 16 and 23. Unfortunately, both times they ran into Joe Montana and the San Francisco 49ers. Meanwhile, the LA Rams, they are back in the Super Bowl for the second time in four years. Remember, they lost Super Bowl 53 to the Patriots in Atlanta, 13 to 3. But here they are trying to be the second team in two years after Tampa Bay last year to win the Super Bowl in their home stadium. And we go right, back to that Super Bowl really loss to the Patriots. And remember, they were an offensive juggernaut at that time. It only brought three points in that game. And they have been a little bit of a tough team to pin down over the last few years. They've had their shares of ups and downs, especially on the offensive sorry, side of the ball. But they've always had that great defense. And they're looking to ride that crew to a Super Bowl crown. And Charles, despite this list of key inactives that we see here, they've obviously still been pretty successful. Uh, Give everyone credit for this one because to me, when that happens, key guys are out. The next man steps up and plays well. And that starts with the organization itself. All the way through. No excuses for guys being out. Finding guys who are capable backups who can step up and play when they need them. And we've seen the results of that. This team knows how to work through things. Going up top for Cup. Let's go. On the right sideline, but out of bounds, says oh, my judge. The throw took him a little too far at second down. To throw on second and ten. Stafford. He's going to try and go deep again. Now a clash of bodies here, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Mike Hilton. the Bengals here first and 10 at their own 17 yard line the former second round pick this is Joe Mixon and he is met quickly in the backfield down he goes folded like a lawn chair they'll lose a yard there like in second and 11 chair. nice play right there to stop him behind the line but I want to see how this defense continues to play him here in the first half yeah we know you know better than I he has the ability to take over a game so what do you do yeah I think you have to make sure that you bottle him in at varying levels because if you crowd everyone to the line of scrimmage if he breaks through it's nothing but room to run the reception good for seven. It's third down. Now it's Burrow. Open man. It's complete to Higgins. There he goes, left side. Let's go, I stopped him. I stopped him. Oh, he's taking it all the way down to the eight. A big 
play there on the catch and run. From up here in the booth, looked like he started to make his cut into the middle of the field right as that ball was being released. That's how you draw it up. Exactly how you draw it up, but you don't often get that result because that means absolute confidence from both the receiver and the quarterback to no both Touchdown, Bengals! Okay, but seriously, uh, it's not that I'm raging, I'm quitting. I, I wanted to play exhibition. playing chat why am i playing ultimate team i was playing ultimate team darn it or was i um <coughs> we're just politely going to ask I'm sorry, what? Do I seriously have to find a different game again? Okay, uh... Play now. I don't want this. Okay, uh... All right, Michael. This game's for you, buddy. All right. All right. Dolphins versus Cowboys. Also, I'm gonna make this insane. be insane oh my god so that technically means I'm a streamer if I'm streaming that means I'm a streamer I'm confused tonight from Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia. It's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. Well, you folks at home can see the evidence. Snow and supposedly a few inches yet to fall here at Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on. Cowboys. Here's Jason Sanders now to get this one started. Sorry about that, by the way. Um, the the thing wouldn't stop. Uh, rah, rah. now I gotta go back in. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh-huh. No comment. Alright, We should be good now. Oh darn, what did I do? Oh, we have a problem. Oh. We have a problem. Uh, uh, uh. We have a problem. All right, we good? 
up we go from Lincoln Financial Field. Oh. This is Tony Pollard. And they Ooh, were him down a couple of yards shy of the 30. No, 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 no. Now we'll you know see what, I mean. what the right arm of Dak Prescott has in store as the Dallas Cowboys offense sets up shop. It's been a lot of fun watching him advance in his career. Many people question his ability to throw the football coming out of Mississippi State. He's conclusively answered that question. In addition, a very strong runner and an even better leader. First down, Prescott. Wide open, Amari Cooper. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A big play that time through the air. 31 yards. That's some early fireworks on the first play from scrimmage. The last fireworks I saw, July 4th, okay? Here they are celebrating the start of this game the exact same way. Explosive right out of the gate. Now Prescott. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle is going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. Oh, they might just get a few. On. Yeah, once you get one. I'm going to do Uncharted. So, uh, Defensive yeah. teams think they come in bunches. Looking deep in the direction of Cooper. Got a man. It's caught inside the 10. Yeah, a big connection yeah. on that yeah, one. 32 yards. Yeah. All right, Charles, let me put you in the head of one of those defenders yeah. out there. You have a big play like that going against you so early. What Does that change your confidence? It shouldn't, but it often does because your thought process all during the week is how you're going to get after that offense and make your plays. And when they make one against you, Sorry about that. Makes you a little bit hesitant. Time to regroup. Now Brian Flores is going to take a chance here as he'll throw the red challenge flag. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. So not successful there on the challenge, and he'll have to be careful from here on out because he'll only have one challenge remaining. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door, first and goal. Now Elliott. Oh, look at the juke. And from the nine, they get this to the five-yard line. And Brandon, they went to a nickel defense, and that's a surprise this close to the goal line because ordinarily you use the back end of the end zone, the sidelines as extra defenders, and you want bigger people on the field to try and help against the run. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. They'll try again with Elliott. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott. A five-yard touchdown run. And the Cowboys take it all the way down the field and score on the opening drive. Zerline on for the extra point. Now these are not going to be easy on a cold, snowy night, but this one is up and through. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it culminates in a touchdown run by Ezekiel Elliott.
Newton to touchdown. It's Zerline. He'll kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Here is Tua Tungavailoa heading out to lead this Miami offense. And for all the collegiate success he had, highest passer efficiency rating by a mile. He's a guy who's had his share of detractors at the professional level, but I do like his poise, I do like his moxie, and I love his accuracy. Tongue of Iloa and the Dolphins come up first and 10 at their own 23. Now the former Washington Husky, here's Miles Gaskin, and he's going to be stacked up right at the line of scrimmage. Nothing there for him, second down. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. On the handoff, it's Gaskin. And a short gain there as he'll get it up only to about the 24. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. That's caught by his big tight end, Mike Kosicki. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I know at the end of games, coaches always tell us that no one play won or lost a game. But this seems pretty important early, doesn't it? That their ability to pick up that first down on third down, I thought that was key. Well, you're already in the hole after the touchdown on the other side. How will you respond? We talk about that a lot, and they responded pretty well there. You go three and out, I think you give up a lot of momentum. You get down two scores, could be an entirely different game. So they've got a nice drive going now. They're in good shape. What's interesting to me is they're also in that spot of the field where you would take a shot. Do you change that up just because you're down a touchdown? It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Gaskin again on second down. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. A couple of nice carries back to back here, establishing the ground game a bit. Yeah, these are bare bones runs now. I mean, they're getting substantial yardage, the kind of yards you're looking for, right? Let's go and use a cliche. Stay ahead of the change, right? Five more, five or more yards each time. That's what you're looking for in setting a tone and getting your offensive line going. Good sign on the opening drive. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Interior of that line blocked really well on that run, but also the two tight ends, they blocked well too. Not only have they scouted the line of scrimmage, but their agility, they can get upfield and hit moving targets like linebackers, defensive backs. They do a really good job helping out the running game. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now they'll throw with Tungabailoa. Got a man open, that's Devontae Parker complete. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. One thing we do know, he's going to get his catches. So as they move forward defensively, got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the secondary. Here's Gaskin. He winds up getting only a couple there, down to the 29. I think that's the type of run we'll continue to see throughout this game. The snow coming down, I don't expect a lot of big plays to be broken. The eighth play. 
play of the drive coming up. It's third and three. They'll run for the first time with Philip Lindsay. And he will have a first down at about the 21 yard line. If you make the stop there, maybe you hold him to three on this opening drive. They didn't get the stop. Yeah, new set of downs now. Now you're worried about, just as you pointed out, not just giving up three, possibly giving up six. Let's see what they decide to do here because they've got to change up what they have been doing. It hasn't been working. Setting to throw on first down is Tua. Completes it to the tight end, Smythe. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. After 1-7-0 on EA Sports. First and goal, and a chance to get that initial touchdown right back. They'll run now with Gaskin, and he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. Miles Gaskin, a five-yard touchdown run, and the Dolphins are an extra point away from tying up this football game. That almost looked too easy, and I think thanks goes to the offensive line for making it look easy. Yeah, I agree with you totally on that one. I'm not sure how much everyone understands the preparations that go into a game for an offensive line because there's a reason that running backs and quarterbacks give them big gifts at the end of the season after a big year. The consistency and the continuity it takes to know each other and execute their blocks is pretty impressive. Extra point through the snowflakes, up and good. And we are tied here in the second quarter. Teams had it. Each team has scored seven-seven here as the kicks. Are Hold up! Holy cow! Guys, look at that. Hundred point zero to sixty-six point seven. Holy cow! Now I'm gonna do my friend Michael. Let's okay, take it in at the goal I'm line. Doing and he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. After the long touchdown drive we just saw, you wonder if maybe that's taken a little of the wind out of this offensive sales because they had it going pretty good last time, too. Had to sit over there for a little while, didn't they? You know, they were eager, amped up to get back on the field after just scoring, hoping to get the ball. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. A big play that time through the air. 32 yards. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield. It's first and 10 from the 45. On play action, Prescott. And he'll go right back to Lamb. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. And he went in route there from the slot for the completion. Love how he runs his routes because it's all setting up your defender. Give him a little something one way, take him the other way. Head and shoulder fake. Sometimes you make one step to the outside and break it inside. Touchdown. Really well run route. No? Back of the end zone. Oh, Can he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. Amari Cooper, his intended receiver. 
Throwing again on second and ten. Prescott. He's got his receiver, Cooper. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. So Amari Cooper out of Northwestern High School in Miami making a nice play there. And it's so funny that when I was going through the draft process when he came out of Alabama, that touchdown. is caught. It's Cooper yeah. for the Cowboy touchdown. Eight yards on the touchdown pass. And the Cowboys have taken the lead. And in the red zone, I guess this is why you have a guy like that on your roster. Without a doubt, and if you have him, you use him because he's a guy who's going to win just about every time. I don't care what the coverage is. And they're going to get the two-point conversion. This one's caught. And it stretches their lead up to eight. So they go with a pass there on the two-point try and able to convert it, Charles. And a good job by the offense figuring out their two-point play and using it well. It's interesting how people are using the strategy nowadays, though, isn't it? It really is, and I don't know how much that one, that particular play factored in, but with the PAT moving back in 15-16, that kind of changed things, did it? It's really a part of everyone's strategy now. When I talk with coaches and when we sit with them, they're always talking about they actually have two-point periods in practice now, something they never really did before. Two in the Dolphins now with a first and ten at their own 37. The play fake for Gaskett. Now Tua. And it's a short one here. Ooh, to his tight end. Yeah. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. Oh. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Meanwhile, two is still here, taken in by Gesicki. That was a round run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the short catch and flip the down marker back to one. Two and now on first down. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. And again, it's Tunga Bailoa. Right back to Waddle, and this time he's got it. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. All right, they're down, they're down. Yeah, yeah, they're down. Going to the air, tug of Iloa. Throwing to Parker, complete on the slant. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more. And oh! he's going to be taken down. They got him. Is that is going to take Ladies and gentlemen, to the we got him. Warning. A reminder coming up at halftime while the two of us head for warmer areas of the press box. We'll be sending you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. <laughs> now after the completion, we're going to get a timeout. An injured player. While he gets attended to, we'll step aside. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. Looking to pass. Tua. Got a man. It's Waddle complete. Touchdown. Jalen Waddle. A 24-yard touchdown. And the Dolphins are a two-point conversion away from tying this football game. Surprising they wouldn't go for two, but this is up and good. And this is now a one-point game. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. On the return, Tony Pollard from his end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Hold up, hold up. I know um, I should just be going on, but we need to look at this. <clears throat> hmm. 
Man, that's awesome. set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And thus far, the weather has not slowed this offense down one bit. They've looked good so far in the first half. They certainly have. And think back to our meeting with the head coach. And we asked him because we saw the forecast for this game. Didn't I'm we? glad. We said, hey, have you prepared for this? And he talked about the different drills that they've done in adverse conditions, the wet ball drills, things of that nature. He said, I don't think it's going to slow us down much. We tend to handle it pretty well. And he's been right. And that went a little too high as it's knocked away and incomplete. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and give the football right back because your friend, Old Momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side, and all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. That is caught by Lamb. Well field across the 45. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts. As the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. Got a man over the middle, and it's complete. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. Boy, how about the speed with which his offense can get down the field? It's taken them no time at all to get down here, and now they're set up for the first to goal. And he's going to go down, sacked back at the 13-yard line. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now. As they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. On second and goal. Prescott. And that one off the mark behind him. Incomplete. Back-to-back -back great plays defensively. You get the sack on first and goal. A great job in coverage there. All of a sudden, they're... look ahead and down in distance sequence now he's got to backtrack a little touchdown, 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 touchdown. two first half touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott and the Cowboys will extend their lead here just before halftime so simple math here the first half they've had three drives offensively and they have scored every time and they've got the lead well whenever we talk about adjustments we usually talk about an offense making adjustments right mm. this is all about the defense mm. they've got to figure out some way somehow to slow them down do they blitz a little bit more do they play more zone coverage right now they don't know where to go because they're hitting them in every direction so not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kicks away from way up at the 23. And yeah, they're going to wind up with pretty good starting field position as they get it up past the 35. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And with decent starting field position. Oh, I need to check some. Um... We may have a little small problem. There may be only a couple completions away from field goal range. And that'll be incomplete with 11 seconds. Okay, I got to do it. Alright. 